Oh, good morning. I'm not in bed. I am in the second bedroom. I just plonked myself down because this mattress is still just chilling right here. Um, today is an exceptionally busy day and I'm getting a bit anxious and overwhelmed at the thought of how much I have to do today. So yesterday was my birthday and that was lovely. I didn't vlog it because I didn't want to, um, but uh, there is some clips of some of the food we had because I'm including that in a food favourites video. So if you want to see some of the food that I had and kind of some of the stuff we did yesterday, then you can check that out on my main channel. But we had a lovely day. I'm 27 now. Alex is coming up the stairs. Oh yeah, she's going to get my car key. How's it feel being old? Haha. -ha. Alex is one month younger than me. Yeah, I actually kind of, my sister said to me yesterday, she said, oh, how does it feel being 27? And honestly, actually, I feel like I am 27. If that makes any sense. Like a lot of years I have a birthday and I'm like, no, I don't want to be 24 or I don't want to be 25 or something. But this year, I don't know if it's because I'm in a happy place. I feel like I'm meant to be 27. I feel like it's a good thing. But um, anyway, yeah, today we have a very busy day ahead because we are going to Marrakesh tomorrow. But we're not leaving for Marrakesh tomorrow, we're leaving this evening. So we are leaving in the car this evening to drive up to Surrey and we're going to stay at Alex's parents overnight and then we're getting a flight in the morning. So we're going to Marrakesh for my good friend, or our good friend Cheryl's birthday, so non-stop Paris. You might have seen her on YouTube. I don't think she's been making YouTube videos recently, but I know a lot of you guys follow her too. And we're going for her birthday and I'm really excited. I've never been to Marrakesh before. We're going for five days. We're also going with Sarah and Matthias. So Sarah Nurse, you might watch her on YouTube. And then also Louise from Digital Nomad Girl. So I've not met her before, but I'm so excited and it's gonna be a really fun trip. But it's all very rushed because as you may have noticed, since we've been in this house, we've barely been in it. We've not really been vlogging. And loads of you have been saying, where are the vlogs? Where are the house vlogs? I wanna see more about the house. Well, we've not even been in this house. Like we were not here over Christmas and then we were here for like a week or two and then we went to London and then I stayed at my sister's and Alex was in York and now we are going to Marrakesh. So February, I'm kind of looking forward to just spending in the house and sorting the house out. but. Today we have a manic day because we have to leave at like five or six and we have to pack our stuff. We have to sort the house out because Alex's parents are staying here whilst we're away to look after the house and to come see the house because they haven't seen it yet. Um, so we have to sort the house out for them because I, my mum yesterday was like, don't worry about that. They won't mind it being a mess, but I'm so house proud that I can't. I have to make my house look nice and neat. So we're going to sort the house out and then I've got to pack. I've got to film a bit of a video for my main channel. I've got to answer emails, we have to edit a vlog, and we've, oh, there's just a lot, a lot to do, um, because I kind of had like a three day weekend because of my birthday, and um, I meant to do a lot of this at the weekend, but my body, I'm, I'm trying something new this year with one of my news resolutions was to, if I feel tired and if I need to relax, and if I need a day off to do it, so this weekend, both days I was like, oh, I'm gonna sort the house out today, I'm gonna tidy up, and both days I just had to lie on the sofa, I felt so tired and so knackered because it's just been so much recently. So I'm glad I did that, but it just means today's a panic. So yeah, I am talking fast, aren't I? You can tell I'm... <gasps> so I'm gonna pack first, because I think if I pack, I will feel like I know what I'm taking with me. Alex is nipping to my sister's because she has a wardrobe that she doesn't want anymore. She, she has loads of furniture because she moved into... Um, her boyfriend's grandparents old house and there's loads of spare furniture i'm not sure if it's her wardrobe or if it's um tom's grandparents i don't know but there's a spare wardrobe going so um we're taking it and we're gonna put all our clothes in it because all our clothes are still sitting like this which is not ideal and some of you might be wondering why <laughs> and it's because i don't want to buy any furniture if we're getting wardrobes built in i just think it's a waste of money and um resources and stuff so picking this wardrobe up will be really useful for the time being one exciting thing i will show you and then i'm going to get packing is that we got a bath so this is one of the best finds and i'm so happy so we managed to get a free standing bath look how gorgeous it is and look how perfectly it fits in the space with these feet the feet will go on it but they're not on it just yet for 80 pounds so i found this on gumtree and it's only 80 quid. These go for like three or 400 pounds new. And I was searching and searching and searching. I, there were some that went on Facebook Marketplace, but they had marks on them. They needed re-enameling. Um, and there were a few that I saw that went straight away, but I went on Gumtree to just have a look. And I think Gumtree's just not as busy. There's not as, people on, as many people on there all the time. 
and this came up for 80 quid in Exeter. My dad picked it up because he works in Exeter and yeah, I can't believe it. One of the main pieces of furniture, furniture, fixtures in our bathroom is now purchased as alongside the um, bathroom unit that you saw. Have I shown you this? I think I've shown you this. So we got this, um, sorry for all the mess, I'm sorting this out today. We got this bathroom unit, um, for the sink, we're gonna build a sink on top of it. From Facebook Marketplace as well. I can't remember if I've shown on this vlog channel because it's just been so long. I did show it on Instagram. Yeah, we're gonna turn this into a sink because there's some drawers here and we're gonna drill a hole and put a sink on top and that's gonna look really cool. And then this bath, I just, I was so set on getting a freestanding bath because I just think it suits the cottagey feel and it's so just perfect. And now having it for 80 quid, I just feel so accomplished because getting second hand is the best way to go and there's so many people redecorating their homes. If you are redecorating your own home, do look on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Gumtree, all those kind of places because so many people are constantly changing things and there's, there's often no need to buy new. Obviously sometimes you have to because of time but um, like we're going to probably get a new uh, toilet and a new shower but to have half the stuff in here second hand, I just feel so happy. It looks great. So that's where the bath's gonna stay, right under the, the uh, window and there's a nice shelf there. And it will be higher when the feet are on it. And then it came with all the these lovely old style sinks, uh, sorry, not sinks, taps. So I really like this. So it's really like old fashioned and cool. And then the shower's gonna go in that space there, here. And then this is gonna stay here, but a bit further along. And then the toilet's gonna go in there. One other thing when you were watching all of the house update and all that kind of stuff, we said that we were gonna remove this chimney breast. So you can see here on the wall, this comes out a little bit. And this is a chimney breast here. And we were like, yeah, we're gonna remove that. But then we spoke to some builders and they were like, yeah, it'll probably take about three weeks to remove and um, we have an hourly rate. So it racked up very quickly in price. And I think that's probably why the people before haven't done it. So it's removed in the kitchen, it's removed in the attic, but not here. I don't know why, but I feel like that's a mystery that I don't really want to have to find out because it's gonna cost thousands to find that out. And I don't wanna spend that much money. So it's fine because actually this space here next to it is perfect for a shower. So the shower's gonna fit nicely in there. And um, I mean, ideally we would have put the shower in that little space where the chimney rest is, but it still works out as a really nicely um, laid out bathroom with, with it there and it saves us a lot of money so it doesn't really matter and then in the in the bedroom we were thinking oh yeah it'd be so good to have the chimney breast gone because we can build a uh, built in wardrobe at the back but we can still have a built in wardrobe in that little corner there and we can still have this room still going to be really huge so we're not really losing out and we're saving thousands of pounds so yeah uh, but I'm gonna shut up now about that because it's I've chatted for eight minutes somehow I thought I'd pick up the camera today and I thought oh it won't be very long vlog but always I chat and chat and chat especially when I haven't vlogged in the house for a while but I'm gonna put you down I'm gonna pack and hopefully not pack too much I don't know how I'm gonna fit five days worth of stuff into this suitcase we've got those new suitcase I showed you and I'm worried because I don't know how it's all going to fit because it's not just like I'm a normal person travelling. I also have to take all my work with me. So I had to take my laptop, my hard drives, my cameras, all of the wires that come with it. Alex has to do the same. And that usually accounts for an entire bag on its own. So we'll see. <laughs> light is I put all the clothes out that I want to take with me um, I'm nearly there and then I go through and plan outfits for each day because often you put clothes out that you want to take hypothetically and then you realistically physically can't wear all those clothes in the time that you're going away for I used to do this where I'd pack my suitcase full of everything I possibly would want to wear including every pair of shoes I could possibly wear and every dress I could possibly wear but realistically you can plan out, I'm there for five days, two of which are days that we're going to be traveling. So that only leaves like three days, full days where I'm going to be out, you know, doing stuff. I mean, the, the final day and the day we arrive, we're going to be 
dressed obviously but they're gonna more be like travel outfits so realistically there's only three days where i'm gonna be wearing like a nice outfit and um i like to think of nice outfits too because i do like dressing up and getting cute pictures for instagram so realistically there's only three days that i'm gonna be wearing something nice and then the travel day i'm gonna be wearing like i don't know leggings and a top and then the travel when we go back uh, it's not till the evening so i will be kind of wearing clothes I'm, I might get changed for the flight, but um, realistically, I'm probably not going to be that bothered on the last day. So I, pa I, you know, I take all these clothes out, but I'm not going to be able to wear them all. So it's time to go through them. And it's kind of difficult because Marrakesh, uh, it's January, but it's like 18 degrees, 22 degrees. So it's, ha it's like a difficult weather to pack for because here in the UK, it's really cold. So we'll see. But I'm going to go through these and decide on three main outfits I want to wear and then comfy travel clothes and um try and keep it simple so we have made a lot of progress with packing alex has started packing i'm nearly done with mine it's many hours later alex has picked up the wardrobe so i can show you that very excited to sort this out and then we can get um get on we've had some lunch the last thing is just to do this wardrobe put some clothes in here because um it's a mess in next door and then just do little finishing touches and then we're on our way so really successful day we've actually done things very fast today so it's actually quite a good little wardrobe. It's kind of small, but yeah, it does have a little rail and it's got two drawers underneath. So it's gonna be really useful um, just to put some of our stuff in here. room's looking a lot better. I got some plants from my mum and dad the other day for my birthday. We've moved the wardrobe thing over there. This is just the stuff we're packing now and the bed is down and here's a big mirror. Looking glam. <laughs> and then this room's all nice and tidy with the wardrobe. It's made such a difference to have all our stuff in here. So now that's our bike stuff because we don't know where to put that right now. But it means we've got our jumpers, my jumpers, Alex's jumpers, some of my merch, onesies, trousers, bikinis, Alex's bits and bobs, like his um, ties and stuff. And then this is Alex's t-shirts. And then this is my gym clothes, it's quite stuffed, gym clothes, pyjamas and socks. So the drawers are very, very thin. So that's why they're so stuffed, but that's really good because now this room's all nice and tidy. I just picked a spot out of stress so ignore that but yeah now we've just got to organize this because we need to figure out what's what we're taking and what we're leaving so so that's it we're all packed for morocco i cannot believe we fit everything in those two bags i'm so impressed with us and then this room looks so lovely now i can't get over the difference now that all our stuff so that's all of alex's stuff now all our stuff's next door and that's my stuff that i hang i'm gonna be doing a big declutter though because i'm very bored of my wardrobe everything's very depressing and a bit just dull and then the the bed is laid out and then we've got the big mirror i'm gonna get dressed now this is our stuff we are taking with us but not on holiday it's kind of like the stuff i'm wearing in the airport and stuff and then we're ready to go we need to close the attic how did you open it on the what? stool yeah thing yeah all right and this room's nice and ready so bye bye <laughs> bye bye home and we're off, the house is the tidiest it's looked. Most organized it's looked since we've moved in. Don't know how much of you guys have seen. Look at how beautiful these flowers are my sister got me for my birthday. Looking good. Ready to go, Al? So we packed the whole car, got everything ready, just about to leave. Well, not just about to leave, but we were packing and going to the toilet, all that type of thing. Sorry about this, I just picked it. Um, and then I was like, Mad Maddie, have we got the passports? <laughs> As if that wasn't the first thing we packed. Can't believe that, I would have left without them. Wouldn't I? Yeah. Oopsie. 